Hi, it's Chris from Chris Loves Crochet and Crochet Recreations. And um, in order to make this purse, this half moon purse, we're going to need a few supplies. Um, one being, of course, the yarn. This is Vanna's Choice. It was on super sale last year, year before. I still have it. So this is Vanna's Choice, um, and it's just in the color beige, and it's 100% acrylic, and is a medium four worsted. So any worsted weight will do. And um, I'm going to use a five and a half millimeter uh, crochet hook. And of course, I have my scissors and my stitch marker and my needle. And I also need a belt. A belt that you don't use anymore. Or a belt from the dollar store. Um, this is going to go around the gusset and then also be our handle. You've probably seen that used before. Um, so, what we're going to do is make one half circle and one whole circle. So, the first one I'm going to do is the half circle. And the, the whole one is going to be, is we're going to start with 14. So, this half one, I'm going to start with seven um, double crochets. So, I make my magic circle. Do my little one chain knot. Then go up to, does not not does not count as a stitch. And then I'm going to do seven um, double crochet. One, two, three, four, oops, split it, five, six, and seven. Now, since it's a half circle, and we have our magic ring so we can pull it down tight. We're going to turn and go back and forth. So, um, and not we're not going to connect these. And with seven, we probably couldn't. But, so I'm going to chain up one, turn, and start doing two double crochets in each stitch around. One, two. Because it's the second row, we get two in a segment. We have seven segments. And don't forget that the chain is not a stitch, so just go into that last actual stitch. And let's count and make sure that we have 14. One, two, three, four. Did I put one there? Okay, one. Okay, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes, I did. So I'm going to go back to this one where I just put one in. Sorry. But it's best to find it now than find it later when you have so much. But even if you find it later, you can just add a stitch in somewhere in that um, row to get your count back up. Okay, so that's row two. So there are two per segment. Now row three, there are three per segment. So we go one into the first stitch, oops, one double crochet into the first stitch and then two into the next. So that's two and three. Go one and then skip to the next one, two, three in the same one. One in the next one, go to the next stitch and put two, three. So there's three in each segment on the third row. And so I just like to count, I know some people count how many are in between. So starting with row three, there's one in between, or row four, there's two in between. I just like to be able to count, know where I am just by counting the rows two, three, and you should always be able to end on a double, not a double, two in each, two in the last stitch. Um, so now we're on the fourth row, chain one, turn, and we're going to do four in each segment. So there's one, and always the last two are in the same stitch. So two, and then three, three and four are in the same stitch. 
and one, two, I'm way up at the top of my camera, three and four, same stitch, one, two, three, oops, three, and four in the same stitch. Okay, so what we're gonna do is do this for 10 rows. And um, once we finish that, then we're gonna do the other side. And so since this was made with seven, because we're gonna do the other side as a full circle, and we're gonna do it with um, 14, and we're gonna um, slip stitch to close it, so it is actually a full circle. So the back circle, is really the outside of the purse. This is the inside of the purse, so the outside of the purse is gonna come up and over, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that stitch to make it kinda stand out a little bit. So um, finish your front piece, and um, I'll be back. All right, so I finished with the um, half moon. Comes up a little bit, but it'll probably straighten out. And what I started to do for the gusset is um, I did treble crochets. So when I got done with this 10th round, I just started treble crocheting and I wanted to make sure that my um, thin belt was going to fit and it does. It needs to squeeze a little bit and that's okay. Um, that way once I get it all threaded in there then um, it's not going to be moving around a lot. But that gives it the structure. So using a treble crochet, um, being that it that's, it's a little uh, flimsy, um, it's still going to work because this belt is going to give it the strength that it needs and the body that it needs. So I'm going to continue around just doing trebles to the end. Let's see if I can get this out now. Before I start on, so I'm going to finish the trebles and then I'm going to start on the, um, the other piece. It's going to be a full circle and I'll show you, um, what we're going to do with that. It's not going to just be a plain flat circle. So here I'm just doing a double, a uh, treble roll over twice, um, go over twice with your yarn, wrap twice, go into the next stitch, pick up a stitch, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, go, yarn over, go through two. So that's just in every stitch. There's no, um, increasing because we want it to be flat across the side. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. And then there's one more thing I'm going to do with this side. All right, so I'm coming up on the last treble here. And now what we need to do is to clean this up a little bit. So we're gonna do a, and that's folding up and that's fine because that's gonna fold down and be our gusset. Um, that we're gonna make, um, we're gonna finish this off with some single crochets. So in the treble, I'm gonna put three single crochets and in each of the doubles all the way across, I'm gonna put two double crochets. But So I'm gonna chain one double crochets. In the double crochets, I'm going to put single crochets, two single crochets in each double crochet. In the treble, I'm going to put three and try to go through the stitch as much as you can. Otherwise, you'll have a big opening. Um, two, three for the treble. And then for the uh, double, Put two in each one as you go across. On. Uh, two. The next one. One. 
to just do it the best that you can. If it doesn't come out exactly even, that's fine. All it is is a is a finishing border. It's not we're not going to put anything on it. So if you don't get it exactly right, just try to keep it about the same across each side so that it is um so that it's even and one doesn't pucker and the other one doesn't kind of fall flat. So um and it's a purse, so it's it's going to stretch a little bit as you as you use it. So better to be um tight on the on the border than than loose on the border. But best to be just even and the single crochets will keep it keep it pretty sturdy. So, finish that up and then we will start our um our other side. There we go. So, we finished the um kind of the inside, but it's the front that's going to have a flap that goes over it. Um, with the uh, single crochet to finish off that unfinished bit right there. That's going to be the opening of the purse. So we'll put that aside and we'll start now the big circle. Ten rounds. Um, we're not going to end with a with a row of uh, a round now of trebles because we already have that set for the um, for the belt uh, purse. Um, handle. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. Magic circle. Slip knot or do a knot. Then go up to don't count it and we've got 14 to go. One, two, three, Fourteen. That is double what we did with the half moon. So we need fourteen. So let's count and make sure we have fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now we're gonna pull that magic circle tight and we're gonna slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. So now we're making an actual circle. So we're gonna slip stitch. We're going to chain one, and we need to double each stitch. But what we're going to do is do a front post. First one, go over the chains and the first post. Do a front post double crochet, and for your second one, go into the stitch itself, if you can find it. It's behind. last one and now before I close it I'm gonna make sure that I've got um, let's see it was 14 so now it should be it was 14 yeah so now it should be 28 yikes so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I've got 28 around, and now I go to this first double crochet, which was the front post double crochet, and I do a slip stitch. And then I chain up one. Now, what's going to be easy about this is you really don't have to count except for your, your rounds. We need 10 rounds. But each time you have a front post, 
you want to do a front post on that and do your increase on it. So you do a front post and then you do your double crochet behind it. Then the rest of them are just regular double crochets. Wait, 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 wait. And so then this is a front post. And then the double crochet behind it. Next one is not a front post, so we just do a double crochet. Next one is a front post, so you do another front post around it. Do a double crochet behind it. And the next one's not a front post, so we do a regular double crochet. So we're still doing the three, just in a different way. So it's one on this third round, two, oops, three. Front post, stitch behind, two, regular stitch, three. Okay? This is the last front post. So do the front post and do the one that's hidden behind the front post and then the next stitch. So there we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we slip stitch to the first front post, double crochet, slip stitch, chain one, and do it all over again. But we're going to have an increase. So we have the first. Turn on. So yeah, so we have the first double crochet front front post double crochet and then behind it and now we've got two did I do that wrong? I do lots of things wrong. That's okay. That's okay. So we go around the first one, not around the first two, go around the first one, and then do another double crochet behind it. It's gonna be a little tough, that's where it was slip stitched into. And then we have two more that are not in a front post, so we do those two. So we have one, two, three, four in that stitch, or segment. Then we do the front post. Well, that got a little wound up, didn't it? Do the front post. Do the back stitch that's hidden by the front post. Then the next two that are not front post. Then you get to another front post. Do a front post, do behind the front post, that's our increase. And then our two that are not front post. You're going to do this for 10 rounds, doing the increases just like you had done before, but we're doing it all the way around and around. So now we have 14 segments instead of 7 segments because it's a whole round and not a half a round. So let's do our 10 rounds. And then we'll um, come back and uh, put it together. All right, so I have finished the other side with all of the nice kind of pinwheel kind of a look. Um, and this is going to be the back, and then it's going to flop over onto the front. So um, I had a place, let's see, what I'm, where I'm going to start to attach this side that looks so big because it has the treble on the end that's going to be the side, um, is halfway in between. I want to have seven showing on each side. Two, four, six, seven. On each side. So it's going to be like in between these two so that it makes it look more even. So I'm going to start right here. And what I've decided to do 
is to um, attach this with a single crochet. So I'm about halfway down. And I should have gone through this. Let's see. So go through that knot there. Go into that and then do a single crochet. And that way, that way, um, I'm thinking that it's going to have kind of a ridge on the front. So it we should be good stitch by stitch, close enough. Um, because we ended up with half of a circle onto the whole circle. So if we're doing the single crochet on this side, then it kind of stands out on this side. I think that's what I want. And then this is going to stand up. So it gives it more of a, a ridge here. Yeah, so I'm just going to go through stitch by stitch doing um, a, oops, a single crochet all the way around. And then once I get to, so I'm not doing a slip stitch, so don't fall into that like I do all the time. <laughs> but what we're going to do is get all the way around. Once we get over here, then I'm going to flip it over and do a crab stitch, I think. I'll show you, show that to you when I get there. So I'm gonna finish attaching this, and that's gonna be the grommet. We'll put the, we'll put the belt in there, see how that looks, and then make um, a crab stitch going across here to make an extra, extra special finish. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I finished putting this on with a single crochet, putting on the front piece to the back piece with the grommet that was already attached with the treble crochet. So see how it kind of stands up a little bit from there. It looks a little rippled, but once we fold it down, it straightens out. So what I want to do now that I finished up to this point, I'm going to flip this and do a crab stitch, which is going the opposite direction. So if you're right-handed, it's left to right. If you're right-handed, it's right to left. And um, it's a backwards, uh, sorry, backwards um, single crochet. And I'm going to do it onto this flap. So, get that back on my hook, go into the next stitch, the first stitch on the flap. Uh, pull the yarn through, grab your yarn, yarn over, and pull it through those two. Go to the next, grab your yarn, pull it through, make sure it comes up underneath that loop. You see that? Yarn over and pull through the two. Go through those that next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, it's underneath, it's closest to the to the hook than the one that you started with. Pull it through both. Your new yarn ends up closest to the hook. Yarn over, pull through both. So we go all the way backwards. Or you could, um, you could stop and not do this. You could stop and fasten off and attach to the other side and just do a single crochet to finish it off. If you want to, it's quite finished without. I just wanted to add a little extra. A little bit extra. So I'm going to finish doing this. And then we'll put the belt in. See what the finished project looks like.
So I finished the um, crab stitch or the backward single crochet around the flap. And then I went ahead and got my belt and put it through the, the treble crochets. And I tried to keep it a little bit even. Um, I thought I had it all figured out, but <laughs> I usually don't. So I just fixed it here at the end. Nobody's going to notice. You can't see both sides at the same time. But I, what I did was go under, go over four, under three, over four, under three. So it's a multiple of seven. Then when I got to the end, it didn't quite add up. And so I just went over two and come up under that. You want to come up <clears throat> to hold the, hold the purse. And then here it is with the flap over it. Can you see it? To shape it a little bit. Might steam it a little bit. Very carefully. I don't want to kill this acrylic. It needs to stay nice and sturdy for a purse. So I'll have some other pictures at the end. But there's the gusset with the with the belt. It's a cute little belt. Uh, or a cute little purse. Um, to maybe go out on the town with, or if you don't, if you're not one that carries a whole lot, then this is, this is pretty good, but it's, um, let's see, it's about the size of my hand and wrist wide here. Look, I have a tape measure. <clears throat> How wide did it end up being? It ended up being about 10 inches wide and from the center about five and a half inches deep. So that's what my purse ended up to be. So if you want something different than that, go, you know, make longer, more stitches or fewer stitches, more rows or fewer rows. Um, just make one half and one hole. And then do some trebles if you have a belt that will fit in them. Maybe double trebles if you have a, a thicker belt. And I hope you learned something. Hope that was fun. And we always have a choice, so please choose happy. Thank you. Bye.